his childhood dream was to be a part of something greater than himself. For every single person that has served with my brother in any capacity, thank you for ensuring that his dreams came true. That is the sister of Pierce County Deputy Don Collada speaking at his celebration of life today. It was a very emotional day with a procession in his honor followed by a celebration of his life. The assault comes more than a week after Deputy Collada was shot and killed in the line of duty. King 5 was there to cover it all. We bring you team coverage from Pierce County tonight beginning with Jessica Jenner Castro. Jessica. Greg and Joyce, you've both said it. It was a very emotional day from start to finish, watching the traditions during the procession with people lining the streets, saluting, crying, paying their respects to the family as the motorcade went by. Seeing the family enter the church was obviously a very emotional moment. And then hearing from people who knew Deputy Dom Collada today during that celebration of life. And even this evening, we've been seeing families come here to this makeshift memorial in front of the Pierce County Sheriff's Department, their South Precinct, dropping off flowers and paying their respects tonight as well. Deputy Collada was shot last Tuesday during a SWAT operation in Spanaway. The Pierce County Sheriff's Department says within just seconds of the officers arriving, the suspect, Jeremy Dayton, opened fire. Officers fired back, killing Dayton. Deputy Collada was taken to the hospital where he died the next day. Before Deputy Collada was with the Pierce County Sheriff's Department, Deputy Collada served in the U.S. Army and the Washington Army National Guard. He was just 35 years old. He was a husband and a father to a young son. And we heard from a lot of people who knew Deputy Collada today during that celebration of life at the Church for All Nations in Tacoma. And King 5's Lionel Donovan was there inside the church. He joins us live now with more. Lionel. Good evening, Jessica. Well, as you can imagine, it was a very powerful, emotional experience, not just for law enforcement uh, from Pierce County who are in attendance, but across the country as officers and deputies from as far as Chicago came here in order to pay their respects to Deputy Collada. Now, we heard from different speakers from different parts of Collada's life in regards to his time in the military and while being a part of the Sheriff's Department, but we didn't just hear about Collada as a deputy or as a soldier, but also as a brother, a father, and a friend. I would give anything to have Dom here today. I am heartbroken and I am sorry. I wish more than anything that Dom was still here laughing and inspiring us to be better. Law enforcement from across the country came together to honor Spanaway's fallen son one last time. Pierce County Deputy Dom Collada was honored in Tacoma at the Church of All Nations, and thousands heard from speakers about their memories of the slain deputy. Some were still trying to process Collada's passing, remembering their final moments with him. As I kneeled there with his hand in mine, the machines were quietly whirring and humming in the background. I couldn't seem to wrap my head around the fact that I could still feel his heartbeat in my hand. Friends, family, and colleagues all spoke on how Collada left behind a legacy of kindness, positivity, and service. Dom was a servant to other people. Dom earned every single thing in his life with hard work. Deputy Collada's family also reminded the audience that he was inspired by his colleagues as much as they were inspired by him. And thank you so much for ensuring that he lived his best life. He became the hero that he was created to be. But although Collada has passed on, those who knew him best promised he won't be forgotten. Wherever Dom is, he's got that crooked little smile on right now, and he's figuring out how to make the best of it, make it look easy to the rest of us, till the day when we all meet up again. Now, Collada is survived by his wife and four-year-old son, but uh, Pierce County Sheriff Ed Troyer told his son that although he might have lost a father, he still has plenty of dads in the Sheriff's Department. But for now, we're live in Tacoma. Lionel Donovan, King 5 News.
You just heard there a few moments ago from Sergeant Rich Scaniff, who spoke at Deputy Collada's memorial. He, too, was shot during the SWAT operation on March 15th and is still recovering. He spent three days at Tacoma's St. Joseph Medical Center. One week ago, he walked out of the hospital with the help of a walker and his colleagues. We are told he did get to say goodbye to Deputy Collada before he passed. And Sergeant Scaniff was not the only person who had emotional things to say about his colleague. Pierce County Sheriff Ed Troyer was able to speak at today's service as well. And King 5's Erica Zuko had a chance to speak with the sheriff this afternoon. Erica joining us live now with more on our coverage. Erica. Right, Jessica. Sheriff Ed Troyer spoke about how Deputy Collada's sacrifice likely saved other lives, about how many young deputies are experiencing this pain for the first time and how they will all pay tribute by continuing to protect and serve. As thousands across the state celebrated his life, Sheriff Ed Troyer also paid tribute to Deputy Dom Collada's final moments, a sacrifice he says saved other lives. When Rich was shot and went down, Dom went over the top of him and engaged the shooter, and so did our other people. And there are a couple rounds that missed some of our other people, and we're lucky we don't have two or three people down on this incident. But every one of those guys held their ground and engaged and made sure the rest were safe. Collada's commitment to his brothers and sisters in service was strong. He served in the U.S. Army and Washington National Guard. And at a Pierce County military leadership event, the Pierce County executive had the chance to witness his strong spirit. I knew when I first met Dom that he was going to be a law enforcement leader for our community. So we really lost a lot. Sheriff Ed Troyer says deputies will find strength to move forward together. Some from fellow deputies who've tragically been here before. A lot of our younger people, this is the first time they've gone through this. This is the fifth time in my own department and the 13th officer I've either handled the media, emceed the event, or looked over the event since my career started. 13 in Pierce County, Tacoma including Lakewood, and this is my first one as sheriff. One way they'll honor his life and service is by continuing to serve their communities soon to head back out on the streets. The sheriff also thanked community members for their support, including hundreds of emails and letters. Live in Pierce County, Erica Zucco, King 5 News. Thank you, Erica. And before the memorial, there was a huge show of support during the procession. Hundreds of people lined the streets in Puyallup and Tacoma for the procession this morning. More than 500 vehicles drove from the Washington State Fairgrounds to the Church for All Nations, where that celebration was held. Some vehicles were carrying family. Many belonged to officers from all sorts of agencies all across the state. And along the route, community members saluted and held their hands over their hearts. For many people, this wasn't the first procession they've attended. They have been to others, and so they wanted to be out there to show their support for Deputy Don Collada's family. A very emotional day and a very somber day, but also, again, a celebration of Deputy Collada's life. In Puyallup, I'm Jessica Janner-Castro. Back to you guys.